Hey guys, welcome to Fly Top King. Today, it's all about Mexican street corn. I hope you guys are ready because this is going to be absolutely phenomenal. So this is the deal. So we've actually made Mexican street corn in the past. Um, we actually, don't you agree? We actually didn't like it. We were like, golly, all this excitement, all this buildup, and this is what it tastes like. Maybe it's the recipe I followed. Well, there's a local Mexican restaurant that just opened right around the corner, and we've eaten there twice. The first time we ordered our dish, it came out, and they gave us the wrong side dish. So, of course, obviously, they bring out the right side dish. But they said, since you got it, go ahead and eat it. And it was corn. Help me out. Oh, we... E-S-Q-U-I-T-E-S. -E you guys know I can't speak English, much less words like that. We'll put it up right here. Corn. All right, you got it? Fell in love with it. Absolutely fell in love with it. Matter of fact, when my whole dish was done, the corn, I just wanted more. I wanted more corn. So for my birthday, we went down there and we ordered what we wanted. And of course I ordered the corn. You guys see that video right here. Literally the whole reason why we're here is that right there. The corn side dish at this Mexican restaurant is out of bounds. Look at this corn. Look, it's not over seasoned. It's in like this rich corn, like it's, it reminds me of Mexican meets Italian. Like it's almost like an Italian or like a Mexican Alfredo. It's buttery, it's garlic, it's creamy. It's not overpowered with lime or spices or unnecessarily flavors. I'm gonna try to make it. So the whole point of this video is basically to try to replicate what they serve me. This might not be traditional. This might not be normal, but I'm telling you, it is absolutely fantastic. It's luscious. It's rich. It's decadent. It's just corn, but it's so dang good. So let me show you the list of the ingredients that I've got. Cojita cheese, which to me in my palate tastes like a Parmesan cheese. Okay. It's got the salty. It's got the dryness. It's got the graininess. That's just what it tastes like to me. The crema, it's actually our first time using it. I've already opened it, I've tasted it. To give you an idea, what's the difference between that and sour cream? A lot. I looked it up online just to make sure I couldn't substitute sour cream, and I'm glad I did. Sour cream definitely has a tang, it's definitely thicker. This to me is almost like an extreme heavy cream. It does not resemble sour cream at the least in, in my point of view. All right, we got some mayonnaise, we got some cilantro, some green onion, some jalapeno, some green onion, corn. Got some bell pepper, onion, lime, a little hot chipotle pepper, taco seasoning if we need it, and garlic. I'm extremely pumped. I have no idea how we're going to make it. This will be one of those things where I'm going to have to build, 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 because I'm trying to go after that specific flavor profile. All right, so really quickly, this is kind of the rundown. We got 32 ounces of corn. And I'm looking at a green onion, a jalapeno, a quarter of a bell pepper, and a quarter of an onion, right? So all we're going to do is just real small. Quick, real yes. quick, The corn is a bag of frozen corn that's been thawing in the refrigerator overnight. Uh, that's correct. We looked at fresh corn, which is what I really wanted. I was going to show you guys a trick how to shuck it. But the corn price was absolutely, it was not, it was not reasonable. We bought frozen. It's been actually thawed out because when we hit the griddle, I didn't want frozen corn on the griddle okay so i'm just doing like size pieces everything will be uniform about the size of the corn all right griddle's on low it's been preheating or heating up Nothing fancy. We're just going to start sauteing the vegetables. Throwing that corn. One of the keys to a good street corn, which I researched online, was the char. I didn't notice our corn had that much char to it. Um, but to replicate that 
you want an even cooking surface area, right? You can imagine how much temperature change we just experienced on the griddle. So it probably went from, I would just assume, high 400s to probably middle to low 300s, right? Allow your flat top to build up that temperature. Don't move it a lot. And allow some caramelization from the sugar from the corn to build. And that's going to help you with the flavor profile. As much as I love cilantro, I don't want to overpower it with cilantro. So we're going to start off with just a little bit, right? The Corajita cheese, you could um, break it apart if you want to. I think we're saying that wrong. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I think it's Cotilla. Cotilla? Maybe. What I'll say? Cojita? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I can't pronounce the stuff, but you get the idea. You saw the package. And I'm not even pushing hard. You see how much easier it is to come out? It's just that finely grated. It's got a huge salt uh, flavor profile to it. So we're gonna use that just like Parmesan cheese. Let's see. Tell me what you think. It crumbles. Mm. That's why I think it works well with the mayonnaise, the crema, a little bit of lime, the garlic. It is kind of like a Parmesan. Yeah, wouldn't you think it would be like a, I hate to say it, like a Hispanic or Mexican style Parmesan? Yeah. Maybe that's why this tastes like Alfredo. <laughs> That's pretty close. I don't have anything to do with my garlic jar. About a table, maybe about two tablespoons of garlic. You see how the char is starting to build on our corn? That's kind of what I'm looking for right there, right? All right, so this is where it comes back to temperature control. Nine times out of 10, even more than that, high 90s. I always cook on low, right? This is one of the very few times where we're gonna have to adjust the knobs. If you remember when we did our seafood pasta on the griddle, it was the same way. Cause you don't want your cream to curdle. You don't want it to, um, to cook at too high of a temperature. So in my mind, I almost have to create an Alfredo sauce right on the griddle, right? So this is kind of what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this one completely off. I'm gonna take this one off and this is gonna stay on low. If I need to, I can turn this one back on. We got a quarter cup of mayonnaise, quarter cup of crema. We got the juice of half a lime. This lime is very, very, very juicy. If you feel like you need more, obviously you can add more. Just a touch of cilantro, about a half a cup of that cheese. And just a couple dashes of that chipotle pepper. It's got like a little smoke to it. It's hot. Oh man, it smells so good. Notice I didn't add any salt or pepper. Like I said, that cheese has a ton of salt in it. So I don't want to over season. You can always add, but you can't take away. We just added a quarter cup more of that crema. There we go. See that sauce that I'm looking for? See how I'm using the, moving the stuff off the heat so it doesn't get too hot? That's what I'm looking for, right? That's a, using your griddle. All right, I think it's ready to taste. Mm. That was fast. Well, the corn's pre-cooked. It's gonna be hot. <laughs> Is it as good as the restaurant? No, but we're gonna get it there. <laughs> All right. We added two tablespoons of garlic. Two more tablespoons of garlic. We're gonna add the rest of that cheese. That's gonna bring it up to, what do you think, about three quarter of a cup? You know better than I do. I'm gonna guess about three quarter of a cup. Like I said, I do not know if the actual original or the traditional has less or more garlic, has more or less crema. I, I don't know. All I know is I'm making what I enjoyed. So that's the what that's what I'm trying to replicate. I 
I can already tell you right now, we're gonna use the whole thing. I'm telling you, I've got just got that lovely feeling. You can get that garlic in there. You guys can look it up. We got a website. Um, it's where we put our recipes down. Theflattopking.com. You guys can check it out there. We're gonna have the updated recipe of what I honestly feel like should go in this. And I really think another quarter cup. Yep. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now. I know I got a lot of loyal followers. This is one of those dishes you gotta be careful of when you're cleaning your flat top, right? I would say on a scale of like easy, medium, hard, this would be a hard dish to clean after. I, I might introduce that into my videos about like how easy it is to clean your griddle because that still seems to be a high topic of discussion. But you see all the stuff that's burning? This is why I always say clean as you go. If you go ahead and get it off now, you don't have to get it off later, right? So just take that. That's why I always say get a bigger griddle as well, if you can. Not everybody can. But look how much cleaner that is now and how much less I have to clean later. Right at the last minute, we looked at each other and said, is this exactly what we had? And we both agreed it's a little hair thick. So if you add mayonnaise or crema, I think it's gonna continue that thick cycle. So we're just gonna add a little bit of milk. If say? I had a guess, I'd probably say a half a cup. That's what it looked like. See how loose it is? I mean, it was good the way before, the way it was before, but we're just trying to really replicate that. I think it helps. I think it spreads out the, the flavor. It didn't definitely drown it out, I can tell you that. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. that's more similar. All right, guys, there you go. Very simple, very easy. We're just going to finish garnish it right now, just like they did on mine. A little bit of that hot stuff. That's the cilantro. Hit it with some of that fresh lime. Oh, geez. <laughs> it smells good. <laughs> it smells so good. <laughs> My bite. Mm. I nailed it. <laughs> it's that flavor concept, right? Mm. It's that heat. It's the creaminess. It's like the. It's just like in a corn Alfredo. Golly, it's so rich and creamy. Oh, it's good. There you go, guys. Hey, we have a join function uh, down below somewhere in the images. If you guys are interested, we do tons behind the scenes. We've done several today. We've done several yesterday. Just a great way to get to know us. We do a lot of stuff on the grill. A lot of like how tos, especially for beginners. If that interests you, click that join button. We've got a video that describes everything that we do for you. Second, the griddle group. What are you guys making? What are you guys doing? Tag us, show us. This is incredible. How are you guys making it? What's your experience with Mexican street corn? And last but not least, thank you for each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Mm. That's a wrap. Peace. Let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. Give me a bite. Mm. Ah! <laughs>